中島さんは未だにおっしゃいと言いますかあなた遅いです Fairy tales. I owned copies of them, which、uh, my parents had given me when I was, when I was about、um, four to six years old.、Um, they're around 150 years old now, so I don't open them up. They're in my storage. This is a movie、um, about forgiveness and redemption. The writing in this film, the acting, it's It's really well done. As I was watching this movie, I was so much reminded of the artwork that occurred in these books, which were designs and pages that were done in the 1800s. And this film that captured that, that whole theme. I think、uh, maybe a little bit too intense for little kids. The, the children that were there. We were really upset when、uh, Sleeping Beauty we had fallen under a trance to walk down into the dungeon. Put her finger on an old、um, spinning wheel.、Um, I could tell it really bothered them that part, but not much else. They were more fascinated by what they saw until that point. And it was also the part that was the mistake that was made because of the curse, the.、Uh, The fairy had put on、uh, Sleeping Beauty when she was a baby. Was that she would prick her finger on a spinning wheel and fall into a sleep that no one on earth could waken her from? So, but the king had ordered that all spinning wheels in the kingdom be burnt. And then he said, put them in the dungeon. So, how can you burn something to ashes and then put it in the middle of the castle? That didn't make any sense. That was the one mistake, the one and only mistake they had made. Now, this story is、um, it's like told from the perspective of the evil fairy, but she wasn't really evil in this, this、uh, story. She grew up in her little kingdom in the moors in Scotland and became the protector of the moors. She had also met during her lifetime a boy when she was a little girl who she befriended. And they became friends, and eventually they just, they just、um, lost contact with each other. He became ambitious and became a servant of the king. When the king tried to attack the Moors and take it over,、um, The king had it said that anybody who could, because he couldn't take the Moors, the,、um, the spells and the, the tree protectors that fought for the Moors were overwhelming of his forces. So that when the king was on his deathbed, he said, Anybody that could bring me the head or the, the death of that、uh, evil fairy, which he called her. Would、uh, become the next king. He would、uh, give his kingdom to him. So that the guy who knew the fairy knew her weaknesses, and one of them was that she couldn't stand metal. But he knew he could get close to her, so he did. He went into the moors to meet Maleficent.、Um, he warmed up to her, and then he poisoned her with a knockout drug because he was going to kill her and bring her body to the king. To be rewarded by becoming the king. 
and instead he couldn't do it, so he cut Malnath's wings off, brought them to the king, and said, Here, I killed her. Maleficent, who can't grow her wings back, awoke from being uh, drugged to find that her wings were gone and she, she just uh, was destroyed by that. And uh, she pronounced war on that kingdom and therefore the Moors, which did not have a king or a queen, but everyone was an equal, to one another. She had pronounced herself the queen of the Moors and required that everybody bow down towards her. And the whole, and once that happened, the whole um, Moors turned this really pristine, beautiful green place to this really dark, dismal, and forbidding place. Somewhat. Not all the way, but somewhat. And so the her betrayal by her friend, who she thought was her friend, who now became the king, was extremely upsetting to her. And uh, so she turned a crow into a human being and told this crow that it to be her wings for her and to go keep an eye on that kingdom to tell her what they were up to. So the crow eventually found out that the baby was to be born and as the child had been born, Maleficent showed up to find that three of her fairies had gone to the kingdom to pronounce blessings on the, the birth of the child. She showed up to place a curse on the child and then left so that the um, king became frightened decided to hide his young daughter with the three fairies who grew, who allowed themselves to become human sized to be able to look after the child, which they couldn't do. But Maleficent found out where the child was through the, the use of the crow, and she kept watch on this little kid, this baby. She fed it because the fairies didn't know how to feed the child. They were feeding it vegetables. This was a baby. Um, broke maybe eight months old. They were trying to feed it vegetables when it was hungry and she knew it would starve to death so she got the crow to give the baby proper nourishment. She watched over the baby as she grew into a little toddler and even protected her from death on several occasions. And eventually her and the, uh, the toddler, which became a small child, eventually met and Maleficent became um, more entranced with this baby and instead of hating, she, hatred just wasn't in her, she became closer and closer and began to fall very much affectionate towards this child and to watch her grow up and want the best for this little kid. So that they got to the point where when the child was 15, Maleficent met this child in the moors, or met this child in the woods, and decided to uh, take her into the moors and hang out with her. And eventually uh, the child decided, I'm going to make you my fairy godmother. And they became closer and closer and closer to the point where when she was 15, Maleficent came to her bedside after caring for her very much and tried to lift the curse. But she couldn't lift the curse because she had pronounced the curse and nothing on earth could ever lift the curse. So she was stuck. And eventually the kid, when it fell under a trance on her 16th birthday, fell, went into the, the kingdom, pricked her finger on the spinning wheel, went to sleep. Now the the idea was that if she she could only be be lifted from the curse of sleep forever by someone who actually very much cared for her and loved her. And she did meet a young guy, a handsome young guy in the forest who um, did show affection towards her and Maleficent took this guy and brought him to 
to his bedchamber. He did kiss her, but nothing happened because he didn't really feel that much towards her. So Maleficent was quite upset by that, and she kissed her forehead goodbye and apologized for what for the curse and what she had done. Then Sleeping Beauty woke because it was Maleficent who actually truly loved her. And then there's this big horrific battle because the king finds her inside the castle in the, in the bed chamber and um, he uses iron which Maleficent uh, has no power over, iron tools, to capture her and there's this horrific battle. Maleficent turns the crow into a dragon to try to help her, but the men use the iron netting to capture the crow, and, or the, who's now a dragon, and hold it in place. And, uh, the wings, which are flapping up and down, are found by sleeping, well, not sleeping beauty now, but the, the young woman, who's now 16. She releases the, the wings of Maleficent's wings from its chamber, where it's being held. They fly down the hall, they go on Maleficent's body, and she's got her powers restored for flight, and she flies up out of the net that she's being held with the iron net. That she's slowly being beaten to death by these men, but she manages to get out of the net. And there's this horrific battle between her and the king, and the king's trying to kill her, and she drags him outside onto the porch, and... She decides, I'm not going to fight you anymore, and she starts to fly off. He grabs her, and they go over the edge, and he can't hang on to her, and he falls to his death. The end of the war. And the Sleeping Beauty becomes the queen of the, gap, the kingdom. Maleficent gets her wings back. The dragon becomes a crow again. And Maleficent goes back to the kingdom. There's peace between the Moors and the kingdom. Um, the Moors go back to where they were. Maleficent is, becomes a beautiful, um, strong um, uh, fairy with wings on the end of the story. It works quite well. This is a good movie. Uh, I just dis uh, agree with the... Uh, the um, Film critics who say this isn't really a good film to watch. This is an excellent film to watch, and it's very much like those old um, tales, like the grim fairy tales that were done two, three hundred, four hundred years ago. That type of that those type of books. I know because I read those books, and they're there was a really old books, and this the story fits perfectly in line with the the character and the flavor of those old stories and the drawings that I've seen, the old, um, the old encryptions and, and, um, the old style of the way they used to draw and the way they used to print on wooden blocks. Um, this, the whole, um, artistic value of this film fits in with that very, very well. This is a historical piece. Um, the style is very akin to 1960s uh, Walt Disney type, um, uh, early 1960s, 1950s Walt Disney type style of uh, live action drama. Highly recommend this film.